Hello, this is Dr. Ezra Sidron, the designer of the General Staff Wargaming System. In previous videos, we have demonstrated the Army Design Module that allows users to create order of battle tables for any 18th or 19th century battle, and the Map Design Module that allows users to easily create maps or import them from atlases or the Internet. Today, I will demonstrate the Scenario Design Module that allows the user to combine any two armies with a map and create a new battle scenario. First, select a map. This is a sample of maps that are already created for General Staff. This is the battlefield of Antietam that was scanned in from the official military atlas of the Civil War. This is the original American Kriegspiel map. And this is Bull Run, also scanned in from the official military atlas. Next, select the Blue Army. This is the Continental Army under General George Washington from the Battle of Trenton. Now select the Red Army. This is the Allied Anglo-Portuguese Army from 1811. Next, I'm turning off the place names and victory point areas because it's easy to be overwhelmed with information on these maps. And now I'm just clicking on units in the order of battle table and dragging them to where I want them on the map. It's important to note that these are the starting positions for these units. First, the British commander, and now a division commander, and now the brigades. And now another division commander, and its brigades. When I click on a headquarters unit, you will automatically see the leadership value for that commander, all the subordinate units under his command, and the route, distance, and time that a courier will take to deliver orders from that commander to a subordinates. So it looks like it will take about 18 minutes of game time for an order to be transmitted from the army commander to the furthest brigade. Leadership value also affects the speed of orders. And this is all the detailed information stored about each unit down to the number of volleys remaining. And now we're switching to the Blue Army. And placing General George Washington. And now one of his commanders. And finally, a few regiments. We ran a survey about a year ago asking you what kind of war game you wanted. And here are the results. They're split almost right down the middle between a simple Kriegspiel type war game and a detailed UMS type military simulation. I decided at the very start that user input would guide the design of general staff. So here's what we did. In the upper left hand corner there's a button. Click on it and general staff is actually two games in one. When set for Kriegspiel all headquarters units and information other than unit type, position, and strength are removed. Unit strength is indicated by the number of symbols displayed. The user can directly move any unit on the map. But when running general staff in simulation mode, all commands are given down to the chain of command and unit leadership, morale, and quality are taken into effect. Two war games in one. Next, we'll add the information about the scenario. The name of the battle, a description of the battle, and the number of turns and the length of turns and minutes. Our next video will demonstrate actual war game gameplay.